Since March 2023, ISRO and NASA scientists are putting together their first ever jointly developed satellite that will study the Earth in detail. Known as the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, the NISAR satellite is gearing up for launch in a few months from now. NISAR's payload will be the most advanced radar system ever launched as a part of the NASA science mission. It consists of two radar systems. One is built by NASA and the other by ISRO. Once in operation, NISAR will collect measurements day and night and its data will help researchers better understand a broad range of earth science topics including landslides, groundwater loss and the carbon cycle. For more on this, we on senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to the program exec executive of NISAR mission, Sangamitra Ditta. Listen in. When are you targeting launch tentatively for this in terms of uh, which month will it happen in? Well, um, right now, all we are saying is the first half of this year. So that's, that's the best we can, we can guess now. Um, it's, it's very hard to speculate the exact month right now because ISRO has a lot of launches. They are doing it routinely. So they will prioritize the launches depending on their, you know, series of launches that they have in mind. So this is, but we are expecting this to be launched during the first half of this, of this year. So tell us how far has this mission come? You've brought the satellite parts to India. They're being put together in Bengaluru. So at what stage are we right now? Actually, we have now uh, the complete satellite. That's that's really amazing. Uh, one must go to the Bangalore and to see it. Uh, I'm sure they will have public viewing um, at some point. Right now, it has been integrated fully with two radars uh, and the spacecraft bus that ISRO provided with the antenna and reflector that we have provided. And so all those things are now together and they have been tested. Um, it's all dynamic testing because uh, before we launch, we typically test uh, for um, the vibration shock level and thermal vacuum because it goes through space, environment is harsh. So to make the uh, satellite survive, so we have to test it at very, you know, um, uh, through temperature excursion uh, for shaking and baking and all that we call them. So all those environmental tests have been done. All the dynamic tests have been done and they all came out in a very successful way.